Hello there my music lovers, I'm Joshua de File Heaven and today we are having a look at the Queen of Audio Adonis. This is an in-ear monitor or EM priced at 300 US dollars typically and currently it sells for 200 US dollars. In fact I was not able to find it selling for 300 US dollars in any single location so we are going to consider the price 200 US dollars. The technology behind it is basically a hybrid one with two balanced armatures and one dynamic driver so let's get on with the unboxing. Sing. Now the Queen of Audio company actually tries to appeal to women who are audiophiles, which is quite cool. They had this message that DCMs are not only for men, which is cool, I don't mind it, but they basically named it Adonis, who is the god of youth, who is a male in the Greek mythology. So. I have mixed feelings about it to be honest. They do come in this interesting package with tons of EM choices. Also this beautiful carrying case which is actually quite nice to have. It is a leathery carrying case, not made of leather at any rate, I can tell you that. They come with foam tips too and those are the EMs. They have a beautiful cable, very flexible cable, no microphonic noise, pretty good in usage. The EMs are also extremely ergonomic, quite beautiful if I can say that. They are blue in color with purple face plates. They are made of plastic or resin, as you would call it. And they have ventilation too, so that you don't have any driver flex while using them. I actually can confirm that and while using them, I actually do not have driver flex after inserting them. Like if music is out or if I'm walking or if I'm walking, I do not get driver flex. But while inserting them, if just touching them, I can hear driver flex. It sounds like you have something stuck in your ear and it is making movements inside it. Like to move it, move it. So the Queen of Audio Adonis price the 200 US dollars come with a single ended cable with 3.5 millimeter connector. They have soft ear guides and they have removable cables which are based on the two pin connectors. Don't try to twist those like you do with an MMCX or you may end up breaking them. The Queen of Audio Adonis, if I were to be honest with you, is like a best buy in the 200 US dollars price range. I can hardly recommend something much better. There is the iBase IT01X which I actually prefer a bit more personally but the IT01X is made for base sets. It is more aggressively V-shaped, while the Queen of Audio Adonis is actually extremely natural in tuning. There is nothing too odd standing out in the sound. They are natural slash V-shaped, so they have some V-shaped elements in their sound. We do get a more peppy presentation in the treble with some extra bass weight and extra bass depth delivery, but at the end of the day, they are enjoyable to pretty much everyone. They are just a very enjoyable pair of EMs. They are also extremely comfortable. They are uh, smaller than my ears, so even if you have larger or smaller ears you should get pretty good comfort with them the over the ear wearing style is actually quite good pretty much it is a very good EM I, I should mention this at 200 US dollars I don't really have something better to recommend I mean right now right at this moment right of the top of my tongue I can't really tell you that I know something that sounds better they sound beautiful they sound extremely detailed very dynamic plenty of details actually plenty they have a beautiful sound stage pretty holographic actually not very constrained it is not one of those keyhole sound stage EMs they have a good treble they have good air in the treble they are not sibilant, not harsh, not too bright. The bass is actually not lazy. It is one of those more speedy basses. So basically they are perfect at the 200 US dollars price range. They are like a best buy right now. They usually go on sale for even lower than 200 US dollars, like 160 US dollars, which is perfect. Like you can't really get a much better sonic presentation than what Queen of Audio Adonis does. Their naming scheme is a bit weird. Every single one of their EMs has that Chinese naming thing inside. So they don't really do a good job when it comes to naming the EM. They are quite old, I'll be honest with you. Most of their EMs have no sense in naming them. And as far as I know, they are connected to Kinera but Queen of Audio actually does very good sounding EMs like the Kinera Freya was much less interesting when it came to sound. The Queen of Audio Adonis is top 10 EMs like if I was to call it when, when I will be making the full written review I will probably give them the uh, Audio File Heaven Hall of Fame award because I actually like their sound. I actually think that they are worth that. I nearly missed reviewing them because right now I'm trying to make full video reviews on stuff that is above a certain price range because usually the less expensive stuff actually gets too few views to make it sense like I'm reviewing a 25 US dollars EM but I am paying 
about 300 US dollars on production of the video only. So at the end of the day, it cost me more money to make it than it can ever bring it to me. Basically, I will probably be focusing on items that are above 200 US dollars in price when it comes to reviewing them. When it comes to reviewing the Queen of Audio Adonis, I am really happy that I gave them a chance and that I am making the video review. You can use the links in the video description to purchase them. It would be a ton of help to me because I get some pennies every single time you purchase using one of my links and those pennies go towards the electricity used for this video and also towards my tummy so that I have something to eat. Don't worry, I got a bit chub <laughs> during the quarantine, but it is not because I had too much to eat. It was because I was really, really locked inside my room for a really long period of time. I actually wasn't even lazy. I, I, there was no physical activity to do really. Everything was just digital. So that is how I got chub during the quarantine. Romania is in some type of pseudo quarantine right now too. Try to stay healthy try to stay happy and if you end up going for the queen of audio Adonis I do hope that they bring a ton of fun to you I do hope that they bring enough fun for you to subscribe to audio file heaven because it really helps me out also hope that they bring enough fun for you to give a like to this video and don't worry I am not actually promoting those I do think that they sound that good because I'm not afraid to tell you when something sounds bad like Kinera Freya had a very average sound like I do think that there are EMs that sound really good and have beautiful aesthetics and nature everything down for example i base or ito anix is one of those they are really tiny really big sound ton of power very punchy and dynamic delivery queen of audio tone is a really good sound and then there are those ems that are specialists like for your fa7 which is a specialist em which has a very smooth sound and won't appeal to everyone then there are those ems that i actually do question sometimes and I do wonder whom they were made. I did review some true wireless EMs at the beginning of my YouTube channel and I did mention that I don't understand who likes them but I tried my best to describe their sound so that whoever wants that type of sound will be able to find them. And this is what I'm trying to do right now as well. I'm trying to describe the Queen of Audio Adonis and to describe them I would say they are natural, they are wide sounding, they are very slightly v-shaped so there is some extra bass and some extra treble compared to what I would consider dead neutral they aren't really warm in the mid-range the mid-range is very natural in toning piano keys violins voices everything sounds like it would sound in reality they are just that natural they do have some driver flex so if you are very irritated by driver flex maybe the queen of audio adonis won't cut it for you so you can hear a blip -a -blip -a -blip -a -blip sound every single time you insert them in your ears and they do have a pretty ergonomic shape the aesthetics are a thing of a choice but i do like their aesthetics they are a beautiful pair of ems i would offer my support to Queen of Audio if I were you like 200 bucks and you need a good sounding EM. If I am to compare them to something considerably more expensive like the Fio FH5S, I would say that I slightly prefer the Queen of Audio Adonis. Fio under delivers lately, especially when it comes to their flagships. For example, FA7 quite under delivered compared to what I was expecting. FH7 under delivered a bit, FH7S. So try to actually find those rare aliens. Don't go for what everyone purchases. Usually when something is really purchased, it reached that point where it is not that great anymore. There are some exceptions. For example, Audes. Audes headphones are really soft. Everyone wants them and they are still great. They don't really make a bad decision. If you need a good headphone, Audes is still a company that you can rely on. I would say that the Queen of Audio Adonis is a better purchase than FH5. <sighs> Had to get that off the tip of my tongue. Better purchase than FH5. H5S better than both of them more natural more detail in the sound without that very odd tuning more natural treble less warmth that is unneeded they are just better in general they are a bit hard to drive and I wanted to comment on this they don't really sound like their graphs so don't rely on those graphs that companies do try to try to find some third party who does graphs on the EMs because usually those are manipulated in such a way that you think they sound in a certain way but they end up sounding quite differently and I have noticed this quite a few times for example they have this graph very linear while we don't really hear that linear yeah I wanted to comment on this they have a sensitivity of 113 decibels and an impedance of uh, 21 ohms so you'd expect that the queen of audio Adonis is very easy to drive well in reality my smartphone which is right now the black shark 4 smartphone I will make a video review on this one too this smartphone actually struggles driving them so despite them having very low impedance and very high SPL they are actually pretty hard to drive kind of like Sennheiser's 
EA800 series. They are really hard to drive. So don't rely on the specifications only. You will need a pretty good source to drive them. Something like your BTR5 will do. But yeah, no smartphones. I wouldn't drive them out of a smartphone and I wouldn't rely on a smartphone to drive them. At the end of the day, I hope this video has been enjoyable to watch. I hope you end up having the loveliest of weeks in there and I hope we'll see each other really soon. Hope to see you soon, my guys. Bye-bye.